Hi, I'm Brian Resney with PausePeopleCare.com, where we explore innovative health solutions for pets and people. Today, we're diving into a groundbreaking 2021 study from Stanford University Medical Center that's turning heads in the cancer research world. It's about fenbendazole, a veterinary drug typically used to deworm dogs and cats, and its surprising potential in treating stage four cancers in humans. Stay with us as we break down this study, share the incredible results, and discuss what it means for the future. Let's get started. In February 2021, researchers at Stanford University Medical Center, led by Dr. Ryan Chiang, published a case series titled Fenbendazole Enhancing Anti-Tumor Effect in Clinical Oncology Case Reports. This study describes three patients with stage four cancers, advanced, life-threatening cases, who achieved complete responses after using fenbendazole, either alone or with standard treatments. You can read the full study at cytechnol.com. We'll link it below. Let's talk about these three cases because they're remarkable. First, a 63-year-old man with stage four renal cell carcinoma, that's kidney cancer, had a 5.3 centimeter tumor and metastases to his pancreas and bones. He'd failed three rounds of chemotherapy and was running out of options. On his own, he started taking 1,000 milligrams of fenbendazole three times a week. After some time, an MRI showed near complete resolution of the kidney tumor and the metastases shrank significantly. 10 months later, imaging showed no recurrence of cancer and he reported no side effects from fenbendazole. Next, a 72-year-old man with stage four urothelial carcinoma of the urethra, a rare and aggressive cancer, had metastases to his lungs, lymph nodes, and brain. He'd tried radiotherapy, multiple chemotherapies, and immunotherapy, but nothing worked. He began taking 1,000 milligrams of fenbendazole three days a week, along with vitamin E, curcumin, and CBD oil. A CT scan later showed a two centimeter lymph node metastasis shrink until it completely disappeared, a complete radiographic response. Finally, a 63-year-old woman with stage four bladder cancer had a 7.5 centimeter tumor extending to her pelvic wall. She received chemotherapy, a regimen called AMVAC, for four months while also taking 1,000 milligrams of fenobenazole three times a week. Follow-up scans showed no evidence of disease, just minor thickening in the bladder wall. She declined surgery and remained cancer-free under surveillance. These stories are incredible, right? Three patients with stage four cancers, kidney, urethral, and bladder, all achieving complete responses. But how does fenbendazole, a dog dewormer, do this? Fenbendazole is a benzimidazole, a class of drugs that destabilizes microtubules. Tiny structures cancer cells need to divide and grow. It's similar to some chemotherapy drugs like vinca alkaloids. The study suggests fenbendazole may also activate a protein called P53, disrupt cancer cell metabolism, and block enzymes that tumors rely on. In short, it attacks cancer cells on multiple fronts. Pretty impressive for a drug designed for parasites. Now, before you get too excited, let's talk about the limitations. This study is a case series, not a clinical trial. It only involves three patients, and two of them used fenbendazole alongside other treatments like chemotherapy or supplements. So we can't say for sure that fenbendazole alone caused these results. Also, fenbendazole isn't FDA approved for human cancer treatment, and its safety profile for this use isn't fully studied. While these patients had minimal side effects, there's a reported case from 2021 of liver injury linked to fenbendazole misuse based on social media advice. The researchers are clear we need more studies, proper clinical trials to confirm if fenbendazole is safe and effective for cancer. 
but these cases are a promising start, especially for genitourinary cancers like kidney and bladder. You might have heard about this study on sites like fenbendazolehelp.org, onedaymd.com, or macysemdsubstack.com. These summarize the findings and discuss fenbendazole's potential, but they're not primary sources. For the real data, stick to the study itself, available at scitechnol.com. Some, some claim this research is being suppressed by big pharma or search engines, but there's no evidence for that. The study is out there, peer-reviewed and accessible. So, what's the takeaway? This Stanford study is a beacon of hope for cancer patients and researchers. Fenbendazole, a drug we've used safely in pets for years, might have a role in fighting human cancers, but it's not a miracle cure. Not yet. If you or a loved one are considering fenbendazole, talk to your doctor first. Never self-medicate, especially with a drug not approved for this purpose. At pausepeoplecare.com, we're committed to sharing cutting-edge health insights like this for both people and their furry friends. Check out the study for yourself. The link's in the description. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with someone who needs to hear this. Let's keep the conversation going about innovative cancer treatments. I'm Brian Resney, and I'll see you in the next video.